Hey, welcome back everybody to another Where Games Sims 4 playthrough. Today we have something a little special for you. We have uh, created a house with three Sims. We have Jack Tripper, we have Chrissy Snow, and we have Janet Wood, uh, the better known as the cast of Three's Company. So we're going to let them loose in this Sims world and see what happens. Uh, it could be really funny and crazy and hijinks filled. Uh, as far as I know, there is no Mr. Robert or anything yet, so it could be good. It might not be, but let's see. You know what? Let's play. Darn it. Let's just play. So what's going on? Everyone's just standing at the curb right now. Ladies are chatting it up a little bit. And Jack stares off into space. He's looking at the plants over here, thinking about where his life has taken him here in this faux Santa Monica. Uh, I'm just wondering if this house has any kind of a phone in it that we might use to find a job. Let's add one quickly, shall we? Let's. Um, not going to do too much in the way of um, showing you what's in the game or talking about too much in the game. Mostly just going to have some fun today. Where the heck are the phones? Not in electronics? Do, 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 do. Appliances, perhaps? Do, do, do. Range hoods. Oh, some lovely range hoods. All right, we're off to a big start, aren't we? Dun, dun, dun. Buy a computer. That would do the trick. Oh, you know what? I think everyone has a phone. Which the players who know this are screaming at me already. Everyone's got their own cell phone. Find a job. So let's see. Jack had a job. He was a chef. Oh, Jack. You're so crazy. Acquired the comedy skill. All right, we're off to a good start. That makes sense. Uh, let's see. Correct. Select a career for Jack. Clearly, it's got to be the culinary. And Janet. I don't remember what Janet did. It was never a big part of the show, was it? If I'm wrong, leave a comment. If I'm not, you know, leave a comment. We like comments, in case you haven't figured that out. Uh, and she's going to, Janet's going to find a job as, I don't know, she's some sort of office job or something, didn't she? Let's say yes. Most of you probably weren't alive when the show was on, so you don't know. So we're going to say she was an office person of some kind. Uh, what do we got that's close here? Criminal. <laughs> Let's say she was a criminal. Janet will be a secret criminal. Chrissy has no job. That's how we're going to keep that. Oh, yeah, Jack's watching his beloved sports again. Craziness. Now, I don't know if the two girls will actually share this room or not. Oh, and we didn't give Jack a bed. I built an extra room for Jack, but I didn't give him a bed. So we're going to need to do that. Do, do, do. There we go. Now Jack has a bed. All right. And we're going to try not to give them too much to do. I'm trying to let them just live their lives. Sorry, I'm going to stop one more time. I know, I know, I know what you're saying. Just let, just play the game, man. It's not called Let's Keep Stopping the Game. Uh, but I, it's really dark. I think this has been a complaint that I've heard from some people about uh, Sims 4 is that a lot of the rooms seem really dark. And they do. So we're going to put some ugly lights in everywhere. Okay. So what's going on here in the crazy house? Well, Janet's picked her bed. That's great. Now, I don't know if these two girls are going to share this room or not. They may not. And they may try to get them somewhat similar to their actual characters. I couldn't find a nice 70s hair for Jack, but I got kind of close. Chrissy looks like Chrissy, I think. 
Found this nice pantsuit for Janet. It's a little bit on the pantsuity side. So that's good. Let's see. Janet's off. She's asleep already. It's Sunday night. It's 1030. And the other two are watching some television. Ooh, did you hear there was an escaped criminal from the Santa Monica police station? And he's at large. He may be in the neighborhood. And possibly will get confused with Jack at some point. Almost certainly. Oh, look, Jack's learning how to cook just from watching TV. And Chrissy has taken Jack's room. <laughs> She's going to sleep there. And Jack's fallen asleep right in the living room. And that's okay, too. We'll just speed everything up while everyone in the house is asleep. Oh, you wacky kids. Come into your new house. Fall asleep right away. It's the sort of antics we were expecting. So. Sleeping, sleeping. <gasps> Janet is awake. She's thinking about her new life of crime. She gets a book. Goes back in her room. She's not being very sociable at this point. How's everybody else doing? It is 12.30 in the morning, so. And maybe Jack should do some cooking or something. He's watching cooking on TV. Well, that's kind of nice. Let's watch with Jack. Very Julia Childs like cook. She's going to show us how to stuff a turkey. Oh, done. In the oven. Hey there, Jack. I came to talk to you about you haven't paid your rent yet. Well, yeah, Janet, I just moved in last night. I'm thinking about wedding bells. That's interesting that you're thinking that. I was trying to watch this cooking show. Looks like maybe some kind of Iron Chef type thing coming on now. And Rocket Chips in Love is what we're talking about here. Ah, that makes me laugh. I don't like bugs, just so you know. I don't like bugs. But you're okay. You don't bug me much yet. How do you feel about video game controllers? Or video games in general? Ha <laughs> We're bonding. Chrissy's still sleeping. She's dreaming about death. <laughs> oh, Chrissy, you're so wacky. Alright, Jack. He's doing a lot of thinking about food. Maybe we should have him cook something. Cook some scrambled eggs for everyone. Now, while Jack's in the kitchen, there should be some hijinks going on in the other room. That's how things went. But maybe here in the 2010s, we have differences. Jack is now a goofball of some kind. He's going to show us how to cook up this food here. A little seasoning on that. And, of course, this Jack has no cooking skill yet. Hopefully he will not burn things down. Ah, look at that. He does have a bit of cooking skill, and more still. He's not going to eat it or anything. He's just happy to have cooked it. And I'm going to go back and talk to Janet some more. Look at these. Look at this crazy bookshelf. What's going on? There's no legs on it. I don't get it. It seems strange to me. And yet, there's lots of books on it. Rocket ships in love. Having some cat... Oh, look, Janet's sad. Why is Janet sad? She is sad. She's sad about evilness. Ah... Uh, she doesn't like the evilness. They go, oh, look, they did go to sleep in the same room, except it was Jack and Janet. Oh, Mr. Furley would be so angry. He would just be having a fit right now. I wonder what's going to happen in the morning when everyone has to use the bathroom at the same time. Chrissy gets up, has something to eat. Jack's going to use the toilet. It's pretty exciting. Oh, look at these crazies. Janet's having trouble. She can't get a chance to use the washroom. She really needs to. Janet, go use the washroom already. What's wrong with you? 
There we go. Now she's feeling better. What is she uncomfortable about? She's hungry, and so she's gone to eat. Lucky, good thing that Jack cooked up some food last night. She looks a little pale. Maybe we made her a bit too pale. Ah, uh, she's feeling better now. You know, I wonder if we should find Janet a different job, because she doesn't strike me as a criminal, and I think it made her upset to be a criminal. So let's find her something different. None of these really fit her. Let's make her a tech guru. That's more of the sort of businessy type role. And this way, when everyone else goes to work, it'll just be a little Chrissy in the house by herself. Well, she's got the comedy skill as well. We probably need a bigger couch for these guys so they can all have a good sit down. Janet is good. Good Sims are happy when others around them are happy and they seek to improve the world. Chrissy's going to read a book. Nope, just take it out and put it over there. Uh, what is she going to read about? Loving the time of sandwiches. Okay, there's nothing that interesting for her to read there. Oh, you crazy kids, you're all sitting around the television having a good old chat. Not getting up to that much in the way of true excitement yet, but but maybe something will happen. Who knows? Maybe someone needs to go outside and meet the neighbors. Hey, Chrissy, why don't you go out here? See what's happening. Look at this. You can harvest the bluebells from the bluebell plant. Oh, and that's enough for her to be a gardener. Well, that's an... Insult to garners everywhere, I think, but fair enough. And there's a tree frog or something over here. And Chrissy will go and do that. Didn't you guys remember on the show, she used to do that all the time, right? She used to go and uh, harvest tree frogs. Hey, look. It's a creepy looking big guy with no hair. Maybe this is one of our wacky neighbors. Maybe we'll call you Larry. You don't look like Larry. You're not too hot to trot, as they say. <laughs> Dude, you're, uh, you should really grow your hair out. You don't look good with the short hair. Just accentuates the size of your nose and your gut. But dude, the sun is so hot. And but baseball, I like baseball. I'm just saying, baseball. I like I think you're great. I'm running away from you now. Bye. Back inside to do some reading. And wash her hands. Poor Chrissy. Nowhere for her to sit. All right, okay, we, we got to correct this situation for Chrissy here. Maybe if we move that back a touch. And we put in... Oh, see, everyone got out of the sofa. I don't think there's enough room for the sofa there, though. All right, we're going to have to figure this out. There is enough room for the sofa. Hooray! Problem solved. There you go, Chrissy. You can sit down now if you want. Janet, you look like you have some sort of jaundice right now. I don't know why that is, but... Jack's heading out to work. Chrissy's... Uh, Janet's cleaning up. And... What now? Janet's going to... Hang out in the bathroom with Chrissy. Ah, the girls are chatting and getting along. Lots of sitting in the room and reading so far. When does Janet go to work? Probably not till... Oh, 17 hours. What 
What's going on? Has Jack been acting weird? I think he's been acting weird. He came home last night, and as soon as he got to his room, he had a bag with him, and he hid it under his bed. I don't know what's in it, but I heard there's a jewel thief in town. Do you think maybe Jack is the jewel thief? I bet you he could be. We should check out and see what's in that bag. I'm just going to go in his room, and I'm just going to see. Maybe... Maybe Jack did take that bag. Oh, Jack's got some crazy work situation happening right now. Uh-oh. Jack made a mess at work. Chrissy, I think Jack might be the jewel thief. There's a bag under his, his, his bed, and it's filled with clothes. I can't believe it. But does that mean that we should find some way to figure out whether he's the jewel thief or not? And let's make sure it's crazy and elaborate. Okay. And the girls are just going to chat it up. It's a sitcom. No one has to actually go to work. Janice decided to walk around in her uh, sleepwear for some reason. Not exactly sure why, but that's okay. Now she's tired and gone to sleep in Jack's room. Chrissy is watching nothing on the television. But she's thinking about television, wondering how to turn it on, maybe. Hmm, it claims that she's watching the news. But I don't see her actually doing that. There we go. We're watching someone play a game about a TV show in which someone is watching a TV show. We have reached the level of meta entertainment. All right, let's just speed things along. Time moves pretty slowly when nobody's working. And she's going to have a bowl of Fruit Loops. Morning, Janet. Morning, Chrissy. Got this bowl of cereal. Hmm, I'm going to read a book. You read a lot of books. Yeah, well, you know, it's night at night. I'm going to watch more TV. Ah, uh, so exciting. I thought, you know what, those Fruit Loops sounded like a great idea. I'm going to have some Fruit Loops, too. There we go. Okay. Now, what are you thinking about? A party. I've been thinking about a party. And I'm going to go sit in our room. I, too, will come and sit in our room. For this is our room. When is Jack getting home from work? I don't know. He'll be back in a while, and then the hijinks will ensue. Almost certainly. But instead I will sleep in his room. Don't make sure if he's the jewel thief, you're going to hide the... He's got the stuff hidden under his bed. And there'll be trouble. My god, we should maybe hit him with something when he gets home. And then he'll stumble through the house and knock his head on some things. Or maybe we'll just both be asleep by the time he gets home. Maybe he's never actually coming home. Oh, there he is. What's going on? I need to go to sleep. And everyone slept for many hours until they were tired no longer. Chrissy found herself hungry when she woke up. And everyone else continued to sleep. Jack needed a shower and he was also very hungry. And Janet also took a shower. <laughs> and the bills started coming in. Chrissy just looked at this glass. 
just stared at the glass on the counter. And still it did not move. Jack woke up. Okay, now Chrissy, when Jack comes out, don't say anything about... Don't say anything at all about the jewels. But we'll know he's a jewel thief if he can tell us about all the different birthstones. Because that's something only a jewel thief would know. i got to go to work, though, so you take care of it. Okay, bye. Hmm. Maybe I should make some sandwiches here. Grilled cheese? Oh, I'm such a terrible cook. One day I'll get better. Jack needs to pee and eat. Jack, are you a jewel thief? What? What are you talking about, Chrissy? Oh, sorry. Janet said not to ask you about that. Hmm. I'm gonna go pee. And so that brings us to the end of this first episode of Sims 4 Three's Company. Tune in again to find out what's happening and see the crazy hijinks of our friends. Thank you for watching. This has been a Wear Games video. Bye bye.